Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate about selector sub add-on or extension, which can be used for auto-generating the locators and also we can use it for practicing the XPath expressions and CS selectors. Okay, so this is a very good tool. Okay, which is kind of famous nowadays in the market. Okay. There are many other tools available, guys. Alternative tools are there for selector sub, but selector sub is the best. Okay. So you're you'll be getting a lot of updates on these, you know, a lot of features are there to save your time and all. Okay. So selector sub, when compared to other things, right, is uh, kind of very in a good place. Okay. So so when I have recorded the sessions earlier, right, I was using Crow Path in the upcoming sessions. Okay. So few upcoming sessions that are going to come after this session uh, were recorded earlier and uh, you, you know, I was using crow path. Okay. I was using crow path uh, add on or extension uh, for auto generating them and uh, you know, for practicing the XPath expressions and CS selectors I have used crow path in the upcoming sessions. Okay. But uh, now this crow path has become a bit older guys and you know, the updates are not coming for this. And there are some cases where, you know, the people complaining that uh, crow path uh, is giving some errors and all. So I don't recommend uh, you guys to use crow path. So in any of my upcoming sessions, if you find any other alternative add-ons other than selector sub, like crow path, file bug, file path, and any other type of extensions I've used in the upcoming sessions, simply use selector sub guys. Okay. So in my upcoming videos, if you find crow path, so uh, just replace that. Okay. While practicing my upcoming sessions, just in your machine, replace that crow path with selector sub and in place of crow path, use selector sub. Okay. The functionality looks almost same as crow path functionality, selector sub functionality, the way to install everything looks same. Okay. But still, wherever you see this word crow path or wherever you see something like firebug or fire path, okay, which got deprecated already, firebug, fire path, whereas crow path is there, but you know, updates are not coming and errors are there. So in place of all these alternative add-ons, which uh, we generally use for working with locators like auto generating and, you know, uh, for practicing the export expansion CS selectors, better to go with the selector sub. Okay. So better to go with the selector sub. Though we don't have to depend on these extensions or add-ons for, uh, you know, working with the locators, but still they are, they are very good because they will save your time. Okay. We should not be depending on them, but they are going to save your time. Whenever you feel that you, uh, you want to save time, you don't want to write your own export expressions because it may take some time. In that case, only use selector sub guys. But that doesn't mean that, but that doesn't mean that uh, you should not learn uh, how to create XPath expressions and CS selectors on your own. Okay. The first priority is you have to learn how to create your own XPath expressions and CSS selectors okay, by your own. Okay. After that only use this kind of add-ons or extensions. Okay. Just to save your time. Okay. So don't get de dependent and don't worry when these add-ons or extensions vanish in the upcoming days. Okay. So, but uh, select coming to selectors hub guys, uh, it got a very strong support now, and I don't feel like it's going to, you know, vanish like other add-ons have done like firebug fire path in the earlier days. Uh, even crow path got outdated. Okay. Now selectors hub, I have good confidence that, uh, it will continue for a long time guys. Okay. So a lot of efforts are put into this extension or add-on and, uh, you know, a uh, lot of community support is there for this extension and a lot of people are actually using this. Okay. So it has gained a lot of popularity and it has a lot of advanced features also. Okay. So I'll show you practically like uh, how to um, use the selector sub, how to install and, uh, you know, uh, find the selector sub functionality and how to use this extension for, you know, kind of uh, practicing the XPath expressions and CS selectors in this session. So in the upcoming sessions, again, I'm saying again and again, I'm saying that the upcoming sessions, wherever you find this uh, crow path extensions being used for uh, demonstrating something or Firebug file path being used for demonstrating something. Simply use selector sub in place of that. Okay. So fine. So let me, uh, you know, already the extension is installed in already installed in my machine guys. I'll right click here and say remove from Chrome. I'll say I'll remove it so that I can install it again. If required, I'll show you practically how to install that again. I'll restart my browser guys. I'll restart my browser. Uh, let me restart here. So once I restarted this uh, by my browser, like uh, I'll just search for selectors hub. Okay, just search for selectors hub and you'll get this uh, page, chrome.google.com. You can go to the official website of selectors hub, like selectors hub.com. 
click on that this selectors have had lot of extensions and add-ons okay so they are working on lot of extensions and uh, add-ons that will be very helpful for the software testers okay but uh, you know uh, for now we'll use selectors up guys okay i don't want to cover all these things for now let's use this selector sub okay so just click on the selector sub install button and uh, it will take you to this uh, another page let's wait it's taking some time to load okay so we got taken to the selector sub page where you see all the different browsers are being displayed just click on this chrome install or you can directly go to the google chrome extension page also that's also fine so I want to use the selectors up in my Chrome browser. So I clicked on uh, install button here. So it has taken me to, you know, Google Chrome web store page, selectors up Google Chrome web store page. I have to click on add to Chrome, add extension. In a while, the selectors up will be uh, added to my browser as uh, this Chrome browser as an extension. You say added to the Chrome as an extension. That's fine. If you want, you can pin it out so that you can access from here. It's better after installing this uh, uh, selectors have add-on, right? Just uh, restart the browser, guys. Just restart the browser. And uh, once it's better to restart the browser, okay? Now let's, uh, I'll show you how to use this extension. I'll go to one of the sample application. Let's say, oh my dot box for dot com, I'll go. And here there is a text area feed. Okay, how to use this selectors have, I'll tell you. So first of all, before using the selectors, uh, uh, click on this extension and you see, uh, it will give you all the details like uh, what you have to do and all. Okay. So after installing selectors of restart the browser, we have done that. You, you have to open the dev tools. Okay. On the right side of the elements tab, selectors of will be the last tab as shown in the below image. If not visible, expand the sidebar. Okay. I'll explain all this stuff. Okay. If it doesn't work, open website in new tab. Don't try on blank tab for more details. Check out facts. So these are some instructions uh, that are already provided by selectors of here when you clicked on this. Okay, now what I'll do is, as mentioned, I have to right click somewhere on this page and select inspect so that you will get Google Chrome DevTools like this. Sometimes you'll get this Google Chrome DevTools on the right side, guys. Okay, by default, they will be docked to the right side. Just click on the three options and dock it to the bottom. So this is the best way of using. And you will get this elements tab by default selected. And, uh, you know, uh, just uh, drag this here. You have a lot of options here, you see. Under elements, there are subtitles like styles, computed layout events. And just click on this. The last option is selector sub, right? Just select that. Or you drag this side so that you can find all the options. Okay. Once you select uh, selectors sub tab under this elements uh, tab, okay, then you will you will find the functionality of the selector sub. So if you want to inspect this, for example, if you want to inspect this, uh, right click and inspect this. You see, selector sub will auto generate the locators for you. There are several locators. You see, if you want to get all the list of locators, the scroll bar is there. You can scroll it to find. CSS selector related to CSS relative X path. Uh, then we have, you know, ID is there. Okay. Many things are there. Or you can even go with, you know, uh, just click on this option so that you can, you don't have to scroll guys. Okay. You just, uh, you see complete screen. You will see all the gender auto generate locates. If you don't want to auto generate this locate, turn off this one guys. Okay. Now you can use the same selectors up for practicing the X path expressions and CS selectors. Okay. Type the X path expressions and CS selectors here. You can practice from here. Okay. So now let's say uh, text area field inspect this. So the HTML code of the text area field is uh, highlighted here. So by looking at that, I can create uh, write my own XPath expression. Uh, double slash text area. Okay. Square bracket at the rate ID is equal to. Since I know how to create XPath expressions, uh, I am writing directly. But you will learn how to create your own XPath expressions in the upcoming sessions. Not only XPath expressions, CS selectors also will learn in the upcoming sessions, guys. Okay. Here under TA one. I shall close this and press enter. You see, it's locating. You see, this X, uh, whatever the XPath expression I have written manually is locating the text area field. So, here, CSS selectors also you can write uh, text area directly. You have to write text area. This is a CSS selector and ID is equal to TA1. Like this, I'll write and you see, still the CSS selector is also locating. Okay. Like this, you can practice your XPath expressions and CSS selectors here. And what if I said something, right? You should not be depending on the tools like, uh, you know, the tools like selector sub and all only we have to use these tools uh, just to save your time okay because they are auto generating the locator sign you know but uh, tomorrow we don't know right uh, this extension may be there may not be there because if i go to my okay 
uh, earlier years uh, when I started automation and all. Now there there used to be some extension known as Firebug and Firepath. Okay, Firebug and Firepath used to be there, and uh, with that we used to auto generate the locators. Okay, we we got so habituated that uh, and uh, dependent on the tool that we didn't. Uh, we have not thought like uh, one day this particular extension will get deprecated and all, okay? But that happened. And later, after some days, after many days, guys, when that extension was not there, slowly this grow path came into picture, okay? Then we started using grow path. And suddenly what happened was grow path updates go on and uh, errors were coming and all those things. Now selectors have came into picture. So things are kept on changing, guys, okay? And tomorrow this tool may be there, but uh, at this moment, I strongly feel that this is strongly supported by the community and uh, I have a strong feeling that uh, this will last for a long time. Okay. So this will be there. You don't have to worry, but still, but still let's not dependent depend on this kind of extensions and add-ons. Okay. You have to practice without the selectors of how to work. You have to understand. Okay. So inspect this text area feed. Don't go for selectors of. So use the default Google Chrome dev tools here. Okay. When you inspect, you will get the Google Chrome dev tools here, right? So select that line, uh, which is getting highlighted and say control F, and you'll get this, uh, you know, kind of box. This one is not better than selectors of uh, kind of practicing area, but uh, when that extension is, you know, uh, we should not be dependent on extension means uh, we have to still use this one, guys. okay? So here I'll be writing as a uh, text area, having the ideas. I'll copy this ID, guys. Text area tag is there, double slash text area at the rate, ID is equal to, I just copied the value, right? I'm using press enter, you see? So it's locating, that is locating guys, right? This uh, highlighting, and when you highlight over this, you see this is locating the text area field. And here one of one should come in, only one item is locating on the UI. Similarly, you can use CSS selector and just remove the double backward slash and add the red symbols here. It will become a CSS selector. The center, you see, still it is locating. So we can still, we, we don't have to depend on some extensions or tool guys. We can use our default, the Google Chrome dev tools, you know, uh, to locate the elements and to create the XPath expressions and CS selectors by own by our own. But uh, I'll teach you like uh, how to create XPath expressions and CS selectors by your own from scratch in the upcoming session. But only one request, guys. Wherever because in the upcoming sessions where I have uh, taught you like how to create your own XPath expressions and CS selectors or any other sessions, right? I have used file uh, Firebug and Firepath here and there, okay? Or I have used Crow Path. So in place of that. Simply use selectors of guys, okay? Simply use selectors of or use this Google Chrome Dev tools, anything is fine, okay? So, hope guys, uh, you got the idea. Hope guys, you got the idea of uh, why I am why I have recorded this session, okay? So, so here the main intention of this session is to tell you that in the upcoming sessions, I may have used Scrollpath or Firebug or, you know, Firepath. So in place of that, simply use selectors up as shown in this session, okay? Or use Google Chrome Dev Tools if you don't want to depend on the tools. Anything is fine, guys. If selectors up is saving the time, you can go with selectors up. Or if you don't want to get dependent on tools, uh, use the default uh, Google Chrome Dev Tools, okay? Anything is fine. So that's all for this session. So in the upcoming sessions, I'll be covering the how to create your own XPath expressions and CS selectors, how to learn them, uh, how to, uh, like, uh, I'll teach you how to, create your own XPath expressions and CS selectors on your own without using any extensions or something. So fine. See you there. Thank you. Bye.